Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I got some more yard sale finds. And let's get into it and show you what I got. Okay guys, so this of course didn't come from the yard sale. This came from Five Below. Because I love these guys. Handicaps. The ranch fries, they're good. I like their hot ones, and they've got barbecue, and then they got plain. So I got two bags, $1.25 each, because I knew once Monkey would try one of these, she would end up eating a whole bag. So I got two bags. So set this over here. Look at this, guys. This has nothing to do with it, but look. This thing is warped, and it was like this out of the box. This is a remote for our air conditioner that we just put in Wednesday look at that thing so I gotta get a hold of the GE and let them know it works but it, look at that I mean that's unacceptable it should be flat okay so anyway now while I was at five below I took that stupid flying car back, that junk one that we did a review on, and I took it back, I traded it in on this, because I got a mouse from there, I don't know if I showed it or not, but anyway, I got a mouse from there that, you know, it's a gaming mouse, and, uh, so I thought, well, I'd exchange that. This was $10 at Five Below. I don't know why they got stuff for $10 when it's called Five Below. But anyway, it was 10 bucks. so I thought I'd get this to match my mouse. You guys know I don't, I don't play games, but um, I just thought it would, the colors and everything would match my mouse. So we'll get this plugged in, and I'll show, show it to you working at the end of this video. <coughs> so that's that. Now... We went to a yard sale down in the street. I got these things. This headset here. It's an older one. But it's cool. Stereo headphones with boom microphone. So I got this. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but originally it was marked out wherever it was bought at. It was $39.75. Then they marked it down to $37.50. And then, well, I got it for five bucks. Um, and I got this guy. Yes, another vintage tripod. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the vintage tripods to put my vintage cameras on. Now this one, it's a lot older, but it does work. Everything works on it, but I just really thought it was cool, and it's long. This thing's like, I don't know, six feet long or something once you extend the feet out. Um, needs cleaned up, but, well, I did that earlier too. Needs cleaned up, but these extend out. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I got. Now, same place I got this, and this, they had a, a game controller, like a, a joystick for, like, you know, flying planes, whatnot. And I got these two, and he said $10. I said, well, I said, I'll give you six, because uh, that's all I thought I had. And then I ended up having 15 so I said, all right, I'll just give you the 10 And so... Um, then I forgot about that joystick. They had five on it, so I'm going to go down tomorrow and get it. But this is the only problem I see with this. It's right here, but it's old. You know, so. Um, it's not a big deal. Still works. All the things are. So, you know, I mean, it's fine. So, I like this old vintage stuff. So, that's pretty cool. So, that's what I got today. So, anyway, I'm going to go in. I'll plug this in. And I know you can't see that. 
I'll go ahead and plug this in and then I'll I'll show you this working so once I show you that then we'll go ahead and end the uh, we'll do my outro then so let's go check this out all it is is it, it's just USB you just just plug it in it's not wireless so I won't go do that right now okay so I got the keyboard plugged in and I can turn the light on and off so I'll turn the light on now and see it matches my mouse so it's pretty cool it does a couple different things you can change uh, or you can have it flashing then you can have however slow you want it flashing or however fast you want it flashing uh, but I just uh, I just keep it on like that but as you can see my mouse changes color let's shut the monitor off and check it out that's pretty cool huh yeah pretty neat Of course, I'll probably just keep it on, but that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Works great. Uh, I was having trouble with the uh, volume control on it, but um, I got that figured out because this one, now my other one, my other one, you would just press the volume up and down buttons. This one, you got to hold FM. Or FN. I'll show you. I took this picture. My screensaver. What's going on here? Okay, I took this this picture in uh, Flagler Beach in Florida a couple years ago. So, if you just push the uh, the volume up and volume down buttons, nothing happens. So you got to hold the FN button to do it there it is so then it's got it'll bring that stuff up so um, I like it it's pretty cool I like to have my stuff match the computer's white but you really don't see the computer because it's down underneath there and it's a little computer hole so But the mouse and keyboard does match so i got a matching set now like i said this was 10 bucks i think that the mouse was 10. it's 10 bucks so i mean yeah i like it it's cool but i like that you can shut this off but you can't shut the mouse off there's some changes on it but you can't like keep it solid you can only just do there's a couple different things it does but uh, you can't shut that off so if I just have my computer on sleep at night I gotta cover that mouse up because it's really bright so anyway there you go there's some a couple more items we got so um, I did check these out they work so that's cool and they're surprisingly comfortable <laughs> They're almost, if not more comfortable than these Turtle Beach, the Turtle Beach ones. What The problem I have with these Turtle Beach, even with monkeys, you can hear that plastic. If you move a little bit, you can hear that plastic in your ears. I don't like the sound of that. And if you got the mic on, you know, and you got the mic on, that mic will pick that up. So you got to go kind of like hold real still because it's all plastic, you know. But anyway, so yeah, I like it. Is it worth 10 bucks? Heck yeah, man. It looks cool. Um, same with the mouse. The mouse was 5 or 10. I can't remember which. But the only thing is, this is a lot wider this way. So I can't fit my mat in here because you see it shoves it way up under there. So, But that's not a game changer to me. Um, that's fine. But I still got my mat. 
in case I got to use my other um, uh, keyboard. But anyway, there you guys go. Uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, Monkey's over here beside me trying to take a nap. <laughs> and I'm in here talking. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. And uh, we'll see you. In, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye and take care.